Hi. Hi. Hello. So this is Liz. This is Troy. And we are. This is Rachel uh, Payne. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I after all the access classes lately? We are making a video because I've got some things coming up that have changed my relationship with myself. And I, we were on a call last night and we were talking about distractor implants and we're not talking about a tooth implant or a boob implant. Okay? <laughs> and we are talking about energetic implants that are so hidden and secret. You don't know they're there until you recognize that there's a vibration that you've become in regard to a subject. For this interview, we're going to talk about entities and your body. And then you start to recognize how that implant, let's say shame with your body, or let's say fear with entities, how that implant, first of all, you create your reality from it, but you cannot create your reality from a lie. And then your life is swayed by those implants. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I just want to say like, and you actually, if you don't like educate yourself about like what they are, you just like get lost in them and like, you don't like even realize it. And like, for me, like actually one of the big part was for me, like I was, I'm going to say this, I was arguing a lot with my mom and like i was like trying to make like change her i was like i was like becoming aware of like the, her limitations and like i was like always in a yeah i was like in constant state of trying to fix her and then With i just an like, implant yeah and, because it's a thought a feeling and emotion that have been inserted into inserted into your universe and it's a judgment as a man that you should fix and then you're trying to live yourself from the judgment. But that implant has created a certain vibration within you that you function from in regard to relationship with is not you. It's so unseen because it's energetic vibration and it creates a particular kind of vibration within us. And what you said, Troy, was brilliant is that if you don't educate yourself on your functionality, and where you're, if you don't start asking questions in regard to your body and the entity world, then you're living somebody else's lie, and no wonder your life isn't working for you. No wonder you're not happy. Yeah. Because the and motor running your body and your life has so many, it's driven by so much data and information that is not true for you. And this is how people erupt our whatever you want to call it, because the level of data and information is not relevant. This is so big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and for like for me too, especially with the, the, the distractor implants, it's just, it's so taken for granted that that's just how things work, like just how it works. Like you have this happen, like you have this thing with your body and you go to this feeling, this whatever it is like that's just how it works and then like when you start to like get a glimmer of getting free of those and actually realize that there's actually that that it doesn't have to be that way like it, it doesn't actually they don't actually have to you can have a life that's actually free of them and it's so different <laughs> I love how you said that you have this thought feeling and emotion that have been inserted about what's true and for me, the people, it's so funny because the three of us, I'd love to know where is it you had a point of view about something that you were told was true. You believed it was true. You questioned it, looked for a different reality, a different perspective. And when the life fell away, that you knew that where you were living from was a lie. Well... I can go first like for me like shame was a big one like any time that I had a, like a behavior or something that wasn't working I went to shame like went to like blame and shame 
um, either trying to put it outside me by blaming someone else or putting it on me by like making like going to shame and like not being able to address it then. Like, so just avoiding, avoiding actually looking at it completely because like I, I, I yeah, because I, because the shame was there, but then once the shame, you start to actually like remove the shame, you can actually look at it and like see what's actually going on. And like, for me, like it, it, it played a big part, like in my relationships, like if I did something that didn't work for somebody, like I would immediately either go to shame or I blame like, oh, I did this because you did that. Like I did this because, and like all of excuses and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. like, that was kind of like my operating behavior. Mm -hmm. And once the shame was gone, I could actually look at it and go, you know what? Like acknowledge like, oh, I did this and it didn't work without the shame. I could actually address it. Um, whereas before, like, I wouldn't even go there. Like I, I could, I wouldn't even touch it. Well, this is huge. Yeah. This is yeah. huge because I had a lot of shame, but the funny thing is, is shame is a lie because shame says I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. And then how can anything be wrong? And one of the things that I adore about the tools of access consciousness and the distractor implants is first of all, do you know, that's a lie. So energetically it has a vibration and if the vibration creates smaller compression and com contraction and sh and look at shame, like look at shame, what it creates with your body, you're not going to like show up and be like, hi. So when you look at this energy of sh like immediately, my stomach tells me, oh, my God, that that data, that information is not true. And so we first of all, we're not educated that it's a distraction from what is true to hold separation of us in place. And now if you take this a step further and go shame because you've entered the awareness, okay, then you're crazy because you perceive all the beings that have lived in bodies on this planet. And so what this creates is one of the things that we're committed to is a world of no separation, but it creates a separation from yourself. And every, like, if you're going to shame in relationship, then I cannot, you cannot cooperate with consciousness mm -hmm. because the shame is keeping you separate and isolated and small. And there's no loving, caring energy of, hey, I'm doing this behavior. Whereas what, what I love about access, it doesn't ever look at the behavior as wrong. It looks at the behavior as a symptom of a lie that has been pushed into your world that you're believing and you're replaying. And it's it's when we take a look at the lie and ask, like, what is this? What do I do with it? Can I change it? So I can I if so, how can I change it? When someone is genuinely willing to change into what's true is that I have choice and I don't have to be in shame because shame is a lie. But the amount of people that are stunned when I tell them blame is a lie, shame is a lie, regret is a lie, guilt is a lie. You know, yeah. this this living beyond distraction like living beyond implanted points of views in regard to your body and your in, and entity awareness in other words beings that do not have bodies i'm an entity beings that do this is what i now recognize is this is a massive control system that stops me from having my power which is unlimited exuberant magnificent glorious energy and creating a life in my way that works for me and I can, I can, I can acknowledge that my first step in all of this was to know that I'm different. And I fought that. I fought, I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be human like everyone else. I fought my difference. And then when I started to really recognize I'm really different, any of the problems in my life was not a problem. It was when I was not recognizing that I see things different to other people. Now, if you if we're all unique, of course we do. How do you see this? Yeah, and and as you're talking to, like, I'm just seeing so much how like the distractor implants, like, they're all, they they do what it, it says on the box, like they distract you. So it's like it's a way that you can avoid actually looking and addressing what's really going on. So it's like if it's an entity, it's like oh, I can just get fearful. I can just get angry. I can just get this. And I never have to look at like what's what's actually going on underneath it or like, yeah. Yeah. So we start a big journey tomorrow. There's an eight week talk to the entity 
class. Um, I do want to give you guys information. When I embraced my capacities with talk to the entities, my income increased by 550%. Like not 100, 550%, you know? Um, and that was, I, I guess, because I was more ready to be seen as me, you know? Um, and then living beyond distraction is... I went into a distractor yesterday. I went into an implant yesterday of like doubt and I, I didn't have any presence. And, you know, when you're uncomfortable, that's when you go into the question, what implant is activated here, you know, and keep going. And we would we would love to my book. I can't find my copy. Try show that book again for me. Oh, thanks, guys. The, these books, number one, got me to see how I was different, acknowledge that, stop fighting it. And number two, it got me to stop fighting other people's realities and recognize that the solution to everything lies within me and what I'm willing to let go of and what I'm willing to change. Yeah. And I get like for me, like one of the things like when I first, I remember like when I first like reading this like book, like the information that like, I'm, I'm going to be like, if I be honest, I was like amazed, like how brilliant like Gary is, because just his willingness to see like what it is and like actually, like just recognize that. And like when I just like become aware, like oh, like this is a distractor implant, which is for me, I'm I'm gonna say it was not like an easy thing. Like I think like that was like one of the most like hardest work I did to like really acknowledge like where I am functioning from the distractor implants and just like. Uh, seeing like there's like a different choice available for me and like for me I and it could be like maybe like anybody around you is not like willing to choose that and like just like embracing like how like for me just like seeing like how as you said like I was like fighting like uh that I'm like same with everybody else and not willing to see like how different I am and what other choices available for me is maybe not actually not available to people around me and can I ask you a question? Yeah, yes, please. Which is true for you, fighting or actually caring and loving? Yeah, caring and loving. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. isn't it? And that's like actually only time everything works when I choose that. Yeah. So, yeah. There it is, when you're willing to be caring for you, when you're willing to be loving to yourself and step away from these habitual patterns in relationship in regard to your money in regard to entities yeah what what is available that is true for you and for me i'm i genuinely am interested in getting to see what is true for me are you guys yeah yeah so, yeah we invite you how does it get any better than this and what else is possible and know that wherever you are that there is no awareness when you make yourself wrong. The awareness is you're a magnanimous being with a body and there is nothing wrong with you. Okay, thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you.